this man who calls himself out for power. The greatest athlete in the world has never worn the gold of the X Division. This is his chance. This is his opportunity. And he's doing it against somebody he knows like the back of his hand. Yeah, to me, Don, that is really going to be the number one key, the number one aspect of this match. The familiarity that both of these competitors have. Tag team partners for so long. They know each other inside out. I think it's the, the wrestler, the competitor, that's going to be able to maybe bury his offense, come up with some new moves that might prove to be the difference in this matchup. Oh, that's a great point. In fact, you think about that, it could very easily be point counterpoint between these two. And you're right, one of these two has better come up with something innovative that the other one has no inkling of whatsoever so that they have no defense for it. And if anybody can do that, it's Christopher Daniels. We hope that you had the opportunity to see our Impact broadcast this week on Fox Sports Net. If you did, you saw where the NWA World Heavyweight Championship, Jarrett, defended the title in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Well, the fallen angel, Christopher Daniels, came to me earlier tonight before the broadcast, and he said, I want you to let the world know that I am also adding prestige, those are his words, to the X Division title. Because over the course of the past month or so, since he became champion, he has defended that title in England and in Ireland. And again, it just shows you the overall international scope of TNA wrestling. How big has TNA become? We're being broadcast in 53 countries. And when people can see it all over the world, that means they want to be a part of it. That means people from Europe. People from Australia, people from Mexico, Canada, everywhere wants a shot at the X Division and the Heavyweight Championship and the Tag Team Titles. And the fact that Christopher Daniels is a fighting champion, you got to give it to him. He'll defend it any place, any time, anywhere. They lock it up, collar and elbow in the opening seconds of this championship match. My guess is that we would probably see some kind of a feeling out process yes. here between the two. Oh, I don't know whether you want to show everything to your opponent in the first minute of the match or not. Well, they're sizing each other up, just like you said, but you've also got to show the other one right off the bat. You mean True. business. Look at this. They're one right after the other. i got to counter for this. you got to counter for that. Man. Put an example of just exactly how well they do know each other. Every time one man goes for an offensive move, the other is there with that perfectly versatile hand. Oh, look at that. We talked about the athleticism, and he just showed it. And then doubled him over. Who directed into the midsection, and now Daniels shot off. Watch Daniels fly over the top of Skipper. I'll tell you what, this is almost one of those matches, and I, and I don't mean to make this sound kind of weird, but you might not have to... You need to not think too much out there in a match like this. If you think too much, the other one's got you in his head. You just got to react. Exactly. You know, I was talking about maybe not showing everything in the opening minute, but we've seen an Angel's Wings attempt by Daniels and then a play of the day try by Skipper. But both moves were blocked shoulders of Daniels go down for just a split second. Man, it's almost like we're sitting here watching an Olympic event. i got to spend the applaud as these guys have not let up for the moment. Reminds you a little bit of Hagler Hurts. I mean, they're just going right at each other. Whoa, nice counter right there by the time. Yeah, Drop toe hold by Skipper. Takes Daniels, the champion, down to the canvas, and he follows up with the side headlock. Good move here. Go back to the basics. Wear Daniels down. Regroup at the same time. Get set in your mind what the next series of offensive moves that you really want to use. If I'm Elix Skipper, I try not to give Christopher Daniels any chance to rest and recuperate at any time in this match. Use his superior athleticism and just be relentless. And if I'm Daniels, I try to get into the mind, into the head of Elix Skipper. Series of shoulder blocks by Daniels having little or no effect. Almost if he challenged Skipper to go ahead and spring off the rope. Look at this. What did, what did Daniel say earlier in that video package? How much smarter he was? He said, anything, anything you do, I've already seen it coming before you've done it. Nice elbow right there by Prime Time. What we're seeing here with the frustrated look on the face of the champion Daniels is that the challenger, that man, Elix Skipper, is outsmarting 
the champ, the fallen angel, even though he bragged to the world that he was so much smarter than Elix. Well, I'll tell you what, he got, he got Christopher Daniels to leave his feet every time right there. And one of these times when we just saw it, Daniels is going to leave his feet. And Andy Skipper's going to take advantage of the fact that he catches him off guard. Oh, but feel these chops, man. This is chops, but he just this. like it bounced off of me. Skipper says, bring it on. And as Daniel does, catches a perfect place move. Oh, man. The double underhook, the butterfly style suplex takeover by the challenger Skipper. And now the gut wrench. Ooh. Oh, man. Just Move it down right on his side. I'll tell you what, though, I like what Daniels did right there. He didn't even let it go to a three, you know, a two count. He just shot right up and one. I think it's a message to send to Skipper, but Skipper doesn't care. He's just being relentless right now. Back drop suplex. Dropped him right on his head, and check this. Oh, man. Hit stand off the top turnbuckle. Leads into a leg drop. Daniels, you can see right. Two count before Daniels powers out. I tell you what, you've got to like the way the skipper has started this match. He's not been intimidated by Daniels. In the least, nothing. And, I, and I, you know, when you think about it, there's no reason he should be. They've been together so long, they know each other. It's just all about opportunity for him. And tonight, it's his opportunity. Oh, oh wow. That's where the cage comes into play. you got to know when to use it and how to use it. And Christopher Daniels did right there. He had to stop the momentum, and he just took the air right out of Skipper's sail. But he sure did. He took him up in the fireman's carry. And you saw that he drove Skipper. It was, it was maybe even the weight of Felix Skipper that propelled him towards the cage. And Daniels went through with the momentum and drove him, I believe, shoulder first as we take a look. Guys, if we can get that camera on Skipper. Oh, no look question. at him. Yes, he's just clutching that elbow. And I think it's the shoulder and Oh, the yeah, elbow. it is. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. And look at this. Daniel's not going to let up for a minute. Oh, and he kicks him right there in it. You know, I'm not sure if it was Daniel's idea initially to drive him shoulder first into the cage, but it was almost as if you could see a light bulb go on above the head of Daniel's when he realized that, yes, he did. Yeah, oh, absolutely. You know what? He was sizing him up over there, I think, trying to find out what was hurting on Skipper. And when he realized that's it That's exactly was the what shoulder. I thought. And he oh. Went, oh, and he hasn't let up on that left shoulder ever since. You see that deep arm drag? Almost an attempt just to yank that, that arm or shoulder right out of its socket. I'll tell you what, a lot of people might not like that method, but I think when you're a, a champion and your title's on the line, and that's what makes you a great athlete, you've got to be able to take advantage of oh, your no opponent's weakness. And obviously, that left shoulder is a huge hindrance to prime time. Especially when you're talking about a battleground like the Six Sides of Steel. When you know going in that, yes, your career could be ended. We've seen the injuries already tonight. We've seen the blood spill. So, no, you can't fault Daniels in the least for trying to take advantage of the wounded skipper. Oh, and look at this. He's just not holding up for a second. And I'm going to tell you something right now. It's got to be getting into the mind of Skipper at this point. He had total control. He had confidence. He was trading blow for blow, maybe even had the advantage. And now he has got to find a way to block out this pain or it's going to be over. Think about this. Think of how this, oh. might, think of how this might affect the match. Number one, it makes the, the use of the Angels' wings move by Daniels easier to apply once the shoulder's been weakened. And at the same time, I think it takes away Elix's finishing move or it certainly limits or hinders him from using the sudden death. Oh, yes, because he has to have the arm strength of both arms. Right. You have to be able to, to use the shoulders. And, and I'll tell you something, it's a great... Whoa! But that's what you do right there. If you can't use the arm, you use the feet. Drop kick connects. Daniels down, but you can see Skipper still favoring the shoulder. Almost as if his arm is just hanging limp at his side. Oh, nice kick right there by Daniels. But Skipper does have that, that kind of martial arts background, and we know how good he is. But, man, right now, Daniels not letting up. No, he's so cagey, isn't he? So exciting. Oh! oh. Knocked him from the back, and he knocked him so that he turned his shoulder into the cage. Perfectly placed knee. Momentum behind all of the weight of Daniels. Drives the shoulder as well as the head into the turnbuckle and into the steel cage. Oh, I think this is this is an opportunity in a situation here for Daniels that he might have fallen into, but certainly taking advantage of it to the fullest. When you're in a situation like this, Mike, how does Skipper block this pain out? How does Skipper because he's not gonna beat him with one arm. You're not gonna beat the X Division champ with one arm, so how do you reach down 
and block it out and and could it be that it might work to an advantage because now he's going to have to do things that there's no way Daniels could have prepared for. Possibly, but it certainly separates uh, the champions from the wannabes. That kind of resilience, that kind of guts and determination, and we're seeing it here with every move that Skipper attempts to use. Every offensive attack, it's thwarted because Daniels realizes, and Daniels knows that Skipper's shoulder is so weak. Oh, look at him now as he's... Oh! Just snap that one off. Here he goes. Oh! And he's pointing on it again. Not... Look at the pain on Skipper's face as you can see it down there. The cross arm breaker. The arm bar applied. Trying to extend the arm of Skipper to the point where he can snap the elbow and also further weaken the shoulder. It's so hard to believe that we're watching two guys that were as one. Two guys that work together as a tag team as well as anybody. I mean, there was a stretch where they had beat AMW like four or five times in a row. They were so good together. And now you're watching Christopher Daniels inflict every bit of pain, every chance he can on his former friend, his former partner. That's how important the X Division belt is here in TNA. Great point. The self-proclaimed Mr. TNA, as he calls himself, since winning that X Division title. Daniels just relentless in his attack. Winds up and then chops directly into the injured shoulder of Skipper. He's getting that confidence, too. You can see the gleam in his eye. Boy, he knows see. he's in total control. Check this out. Oh, oh hammerlock slam. Drove him down with his oh, Skipper's arm extended. It's just tough to watch at this point, but somehow variation there of the Matrix move. Didn't really get full lift on the Matrix, but Skipper was able to lift up and avoid the three count from referee Slick Johnson. Oh, don't count out prime time. This guy, again, we talked about his athletic skills. He reacts so much on instinct. I mean, he just reacts because it's just a part of him. It's just a, the way he was born. Daniels, back to the hand. Look at that. Working specifically on one thing. That left arm of Skipper. You don't have to like him, but you got to respect him. You got to respect how he goes about his business in the ring. Well, every time I see Elite Skipper inside the six sides of steel, as Daniels just continues to work on it. You know, I, I think of that move. It was it was ranked on our Impact Show this week as the number one move inside the uh, cage. Will you ever forget that? Never forget it. I'll tell you what. I couldn't believe I was seeing it and had. I, I, you had a flash moment thinking of the consequences, but prime time able to hit it, connect with it, and it was the most spectacular thing we'd ever seen, and the fans felt the same way. Absolutely. Skipper again takes him up, drives him down, but then just crumbles in a heap. We're talking about when Elix Skipper walked the top of the cage and then came off the top of the cage with a Hurricane Rana. Rated as the number one move in TNA steel cage history. Never been seen before and never been seen since. Unbelievable. I don't think anybody has the guts to try it. Oh, nice elbow right there. And that's what he's got to do. That's, that's the good arm. That's, that's the, the right, right arm. Here. And just be relentless. Keep them one after another. That's exactly what he's got to do. And once you hit that cage the wrong way, you get nice spin kick right there by prime time. You mentioned his martial arts background. Seven years studying the martial arts, even before he got into professional wrestling, and he drilled Daniels with the kick to the back. Oh, boy, he didn't hold anything back with that one right there. That's right there in the back of the kidneys. The pain that that can cause is excruciating. Daniels back to his feet, but just as soon, Skipper's right on him. Oh, look at that, though. Great. Look at the Matrix, though, by Skipper. He's just not going to be taken down. And Oh, you thought Daniels might, might have been able to counter it, but now it's all prime time. Plants him with the belly to belly. And now, Skipper headed up to the top, walking the top rope, and... Oh, oh did you see the elevation that he got off of that rope? Did right you there. see the landing as well? It's One, like two, no. no. Man, I'll tell you, I don't know if there's a chance to see that again, but man, he just got so high up into the air. Part of that athleticism that we talked about, you mentioned it, Don, greatest athlete never to be X Division champion. Ooh, and you can see what happened that, there. He tried to make the move, he was using the wrong arm, and it cost him, and he reacted immediately. 
You're right, he was gonna try and take him over the top, over his back. BME! Best moonsault ever, and he hit him. Oh, he nailed it. This could be it. Two. It's over. No! No! He fights out of it! Wow! Man, I'll tell you what, this has been a match that's just nothing but two guys going at it. Two guys realizing what's at stake. Two guys knowing that the X Division Championship belt goes to the winner. It's me against you. And now, Christopher Daniels, you've got to be kidding. He's going up to the top of the cage. Daniels all the Skipper's way on his feet, though. And Skipper's going up there after him. Oh! Skipper able to climb the cage. Oh, now he's in no man's land up there. This is a chance for prime time, but with his own, with his shoulder. Is he going to be able to climb up there to get him? I mean, if he does, he's probably going to be slower going up than ever. No way. He is not going to try this. Skipper. He is not. Wait a minute. We made mention earlier, Don. We talked about it when he walked the top of the cage. This could be deja vu. Oh, look at their smart move on Daniel's part. He was not. Oh, man! Oh, oh what a collision! The referee's knocked out! Daniels is knocked out! Skipper, though, went right from the top! Let's take another look! Skipper look flies up the top! Whoa! Oh, man! My God, what a crash landing! Did he get the pin? No! Well, How about Daniels able to get the shoulder up? Thankfully, we came back live just in time as Skipper... Went for the pin, had the arm draped across the chest of Daniels. That was taking advantage of an opportunity. Instead of getting upset, and Daniels was able to get down, he just went for broke. Skipper. You can almost sense it that Ben Elix feels like he's on the verge of a championship here. Oh, he's got it. Oh, but it, it was too much. Oh, he tried yeah. to take him up now. He tried shoulder. to take him up to his shoulder. He just doesn't have enough strength there's nothing in left. It. And it's not his fault. It just there's nothing in it. Oh, Angels here comes wings. the Angels wings. Here Double he in. goes. Here it is. Oh, wait a minute. A move that's going. Here he goes. Could it be? A sudden death. They, we talked earlier about how well they know each other. There's another example. Oh, he just let it go. But... And again, too much, the too much, way. fought him off, dropped him down with the angel's wings. Here's One, the two, two, three. What a hell of a match, though. Unbelievable. Two warriors grinding it out, grinding it out, but I still, i got to think what would have happened if Elix Skipper hadn't had the shoulder injury. It could have been different, but I'm making no excuses. We're going to take another look at that spectacular off the top of the six sides of steel cage by prime time. Check this out. Here, here he goes. goes. And then here comes the angel wings and it just plants in He sure mode. does. I, at that point, Skipper had given everything that he had. He was basically doing a handicap with one arm and it just wasn't enough. Christopher Daniels. That's Mr. Yes, retains the X Division Championship.